Yeah, I went now. So, just got a text message from our team meteorologist, my dad. He says, you and LeVar need to dress warm in all caps Wednesday. The low Wednesday night is below freezing. It will get really cold as soon as the sun goes down. You and LeVar should sit this one out at most. Go watch for a little check out, parking logistics, etc. I'm going to reply, nah. Not All right, so what are you supposed to be doing tonight? So we're supposed to be testing the new micro sprint for technically the first time. It blew up seven laps into the first test. So it's been like four months since I've been in the seat of anything other than just driving around the parking lot. So I had this circled, I really did. And then um, I made the stake to kind of fill the void in my heart that I didn't get to run tonight. But um, it's, it's not enough, I'm gonna be honest with you. How many days away is the season opener? Like um, two or three days, something like that. Wow. Yeah. That looks good. Does it? Does it make up for not racing? No. <laughs> oh, you're fine. What do you and, say? And let the new micro drivers wreck someone else the first race. <laughs> we'll be all right. It's the longest you've ever consistently like juggled for. Were you bad when you started? Yes. Like Formula One drivers do this. <laughs> what are your expectations for the race? How many cars do you think will be there? Probably 40 or 50. It's, it's crazy how quickly micro sprint racing has taken off here in North Carolina. And it's really thanks to a lot of heavy hitters coming and running with us on a weekly basis and really bringing it into the public eye. Do you think you'll get the win? I hope so. We're not going for any other reason. <laughs>